नमस्ते हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू शैल गुलहाटी शिवा एंड मिस्टिसिज्म फॉर अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ मंडे विद महादेव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट अ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्सेप्ट व्हिच इज पेक्यूलियर टू शिवा एंड हिज लिटरेचर दिस इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अ वर्ड कॉल्ड युगपत i'm sure some of you have heard of the word shaktipat which means the transmission of spiritual power from a great guru or a rishi who is steeped in his own self realization and out of his compassion he can transfer spiritual power and give awakening to the seeker almost before his time is due or then act as a catalyst and help him to awaken to his spiritual self but the word i am talking about here is yugapat and this word is found in the sacred text of the bodh panch dasika bodh panch dasika is a text of kashmir shaivism written by the great scholar and saint abhinav gupt both panch dasika means 15 verses that lead to awakening basically the both panch dasika is a text that describes shiva's innate nature his nature as shiv tatva as the origin of all things and in one of the verses this word is used yugapat and yugapat means that shiva is able to create all of creation in one go so when we talk of charles darwin's theory of evolution and we say that first life emanated on earth with small life forms single cellular things and then it grew to bigger things and then to amphibians and then finally to mammals and in mammals from the ape world the chimpanzees to the homo sapiens the cavemen and then to our present form of human beings as we are today but yugapat suggests something very extraordinary it suggests that shiva can create a creation where all these life forms are present in one go now this is not to challenge or debunk charles darwin's theory it has to be understood in its perspective shaivites know that shiva creates this world in yuga after yuga in time cycles so if we compare this to an artist who has a canvas where he paints first with red and then with yellow and then with green of course it is possible to take another canvas and put all the colors together so if shiva has seen one creation in which there was only a single cell life form and another one in which there were amphibians and another one in which they rose to mammals and then finally the one in which we are as human beings with all our discoveries and inventions our factories our workshops our rockets our transport our buildings and so on he can create yet another creation in which that evolution doesn't have to take place so we can have the fully evolved human being as well as his prototype the neanderthal man or we can still have the single life forms going on simultaneously and if this sounds quite astounding i would like to compare it with a western theory which is called last thursdayism last thursdayism is a very interesting theory 
which says that everything that we see in this universe was created last Thursday. Yes, so it's pretty much the same theory. So if we were created last Thursday, what happens to all our history, you know, people like Napoleon and people like Alexander the Great and Alfred the Great and Chandragupt Maurya and all these historical figures? Well, this theory says that they were all created last Thursday, but the power of creation is so much that we believe that they took thousands of years to come about. So if I'm 59 and I was also created just last Thursday, but there is some kind of a consciousness memory which makes me think my past. Now this theory cannot be proved, but the important thing is that it cannot be disproved either. You see, all the memory that I have of my past, myself as a five-year-old, then an adolescent, then my marriage, my children, my grandfatherhood, this is all present in the present moment. The fact of the matter is that if I remember my past, I am remembering it in this present. This is somehow the mystical basis of the theory. And it's very interesting. You could take a stronger look at this on YouTube and find out last Thursdayism. And then for a more serious study, you could delve into the Bodh Panchadasika and look up Yugapat and see the similarity. It's fascinating, astounding, but then with God, all things are possible. I leave you to think about this very interesting word, to think about the ramifications of such a power if Mahadev has it, because this would change the concept of everything as we know it as of today. I hope that you will look up these two words and take your own spiritual journey of Shiva further from there. Om Namah Shivai.